Hi! Today I will show you my empties and new products. This became again a little bit belated empties video because I was not around last week. Actually, I was not uh, quite sure if I should continue with this series because till now I had two empties videos because I make this video every two months. But they are one of my uh, least watched videos. <laughs> so I was not sure if many people are interested in my update. But I thought, okay, when there are at least few people who are interested in this, I will just continue to make it. And it's actually also nice documentation for myself that I can watch later and know myself which product I emptied at that time and how I felt about it. So the first item I emptied is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Serum. In old time, I didn't use eye serum at all. I was just using eye cream. But one time I was getting some wrinkles on my eyes and I wanted to do something against it. I was using Clarins eye cream at that time, but I was thinking maybe I got used to this, that I get uh, wrinkles. So I one time went to Estee Lauder counter and I asked them and they recommended me Advanced Night Repair Eye. That one is not really eye cream, but it was more like eye serum. So alone was not enough. So I had to apply eye cream afterwards. Then I really experienced those wrinkles I had at that time was um, disappearing. So I used that uh, advanced night repair eye for a long time. But recently, last year, I realized they discontinued it. <laughs> I don't know why everybody is discontinuing their stuff when I just uh, began to love them. And I asked them and they said only eye serum they have is this one. Actually they had it always. So while I was using Advanced Night Repair Eye, they had it as well, but they were recommending this Advanced Night Repair more than this. So I'm quite sure this Advanced Night Repair was better one than this. But um, now I had any other choice than just um, using this one instead of that because the one is discontinued. So I just used this one as an eye serum and as an eye cream, I used this Resilience Multi-Effect Eye Cream, which I showed you before. So yes, I'm happy about this with those two combinations I'm not getting for the wrinkles. But I found it quite shame that they discontinued this advanced night repair eye. And this eye serum contains 15 milliliter, and uh, it took eight months to use up this. And the next item is double serum. I already talked about this item in my Clarence video, and I also talked quite a lot about this in my last empties video, so I wouldn't um, go deep today. Uh, it took seven months to use up this double serum. This is the one I repurchased. Normally it doesn't uh, last so long, but uh, last time I had for certain time three serums, as I mentioned in my last empties video. So I think this time it lasts longer than normal. And the next one I used up is Clarence Night Cream. This one is Extra Farming uh, Night Cream. So it took uh, six months to use up this night cream. Uh, I ran out of this night cream uh, earlier than my day cream because for day cream, I uh, used for a certain time this Bobbi Brown Deluxe Sample. So that one, I still have some left, but the um, night cream I had to exchange. And this one I also discussed in my Clarence video. And my next item is Kiehl's Lip Balm number no. 1 in Mango. I shortly um, mentioned about this in my collection video that I'm not 100% happy about. 
this product because it contains petroleum jelly and lanolin. But as some of you already know, I have very sensitive lips and I'm easily getting skin trouble from many lip products. The most of skin trouble I'm getting is uh, some sort of dry patch on my lips. It's different from just dried lips because those uh, dried skin I can uh, remove uh, for example when I'm under the shower when I soften it then I can remove this but those skin trouble ones they are just there I can't uh, remove it so it's not just an um, upper layer which got dried but um, this, this is a real skin trouble and it takes long time to get rid of this again especially many of those um, organic natural cosmetic stuff I'm getting uh, some uh, trouble and from this one uh, the first problem I had was when I just apply it immediately that moment my lips hurt so I have some pain on the surface of my lips but after a certain time, it doesn't hurt anymore. So it was very strange. And most of all, this one doesn't give any skin trouble. <laughs> so I didn't have any other choice than just using this. But one time I tried, you know, my oil mixture, which I actually mixed for my nails. This jojoba oil and castor oil mixture. But when I applied that oil on my lips, it doesn't last very long. After a few minutes, my lips feel dry again. But one time I tried to apply that oil first and then this lip balm. Then I realized it doesn't hurt anymore. So I started to apply like this. Always uh, oil first and then applying this lip balm. This is um, more work that I have to apply two things. But in that way, I can somehow manage my lips soft and pain-free and also without skin trouble. And to use up this lip balm, it took 11 months. Actually, it lasts very long. And the next item I used up is my Clarang's Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. This is uh, one of those lip gloss which I sorted out in my collection video and uh, at that time I sorted out 13 items and five of them I decided to use up and this was one of them and it took quite long time to use this up I didn't know there are so much left this was a deluxe sample which was gifted to me but I was actually not 100% happy about this this has very strong scent um, I don't really know which scent it is, but some kind of fruit scent, I think. And it's also a little bit sticky. So I wouldn't uh, purchase it myself. And I'm actually quite happy that I could use this up. And the next item I emptied is my beloved mascara. This Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge Lengthening Mascara. I uh, actually used it for more than one year. <laughs> Some of you might uh, be frightened to hear that. But apparently I don't use a great amount of mascara every time. I also don't wear mascara every day. So I really had it more than one year. But a little bit after one year, it began to smudge slowly because um, during that first year, it was not smudging at all. Um, but fortunately, I one time had on a sample size of the same product from Estee Lauder. They sometimes give away some deluxe size sample. And one time they said they are giving away this exact one. So I immediately bought something from Estee Lauder, which was not difficult because I also used their eye cream. And then I got this as a gift. So I started to use this. It uh, really has exactly the same uh, brush as this full-sized one. Uh, full-sized one is 6ml, I believe. 
and this sample sized one is 2.8 milliliter. So actually this might be the <laughs> right size for me that I can use it up within one year before it goes wrong. So I was very lucky to get this as a sample. And the next item I emptied is body cream from Clarins. This is extra firming body cream. I used it up after six months. They also have a lotion version of this in tube. Actually, regarding consistency, I like lotion more because that one is um, easier to spread on the body. But emptying a tube is sometimes quite exhausting. <laughs> Um, it doesn't come out at the end and then you have to cut it through. Then the product is basically open all the time. But uh, this jar, I can just um, open it and pick it out with spatula. It's um, no big deal at all when it's empty, just I go through with my fingers. Then I can empty it completely. So that is actually the reason I have this in cream version rather than lotion. I mentioned one time I'm switching this body cream from time to time, but I think last several times I was using this all the time. Uh, unless I get something else as a sample, then I'm also using something else. But when I purchased full size, I was always purchasing this. The next item I emptied is this Clarins fragrance for body. This one is not really a perfume, but uh, after you apply to your body cream, you can just apply this all over your body. It doesn't have a very strong scent, so you can apply it everywhere. I used to love this uh, smell a lot. I also purchased one time a full-sized one. This was Deluxe Sample 30 milliliter. I still like this smell, but if I want to use other perfume, then they are conflicting. I can't really use this and another perfume at the same time. So somehow it took long time <laughs> to use this up. I think I had it for 12 months. And next item is actually nail care item. I showed you my nail routine in my last video. This one is Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. Alternatively, you can also soften your cuticle in the water that I also did sometimes. But this one is very convenient to use. This is gel form. You can just apply it on your nails and wait for one minute as I showed you in my last video. I was quite surprised to see I had this for more than two years. <laughs> Maybe because I sometimes just um, soften my fingers in the water, as I just mentioned, or I just don't use much amount every time. It contains almost 30 milliliter. So I don't know why <laughs> I had it so long, but it took two years to use this up. So I have to say it's very good value actually. Next item is also a nail care item. This is Bird's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. For this one, it took also more than two years to use it up. So it lasts really long. But I guess it's also due to that I sometimes feel lazy and don't apply this before I go to bed. Because I always apply it before I go to bed, but sometimes I just skip it when I'm very tired. But lately I was using this really every night. So I could finally use that up and I just purchased a new one. Compared to my uh, oil mixture, which I'm applying from time to time on my cuticle, uh, this one I really have feeling it lasts quite uh, long because it uh, has a little bit firm consistency and uh, it smells so heavenly so i really love to apply this as a part of ritual before i go to bed so those are my empties and the replacements and now uh, coming to the new products which i added to my collection the first one is this 
Clarence UV Plus, which I mentioned in my Best of Clarence video as an honorable mention at the end. Because at that time I didn't have this, because normally I uh, have this only during summer time. So I purchased it, I think it was um, in May. Before you use, you have to uh, shake it and then uh, you can apply it all over your face. And I normally apply it with my fingers. It's very lightweight. You can apply it under your makeup without any problem. It's not sticky, it's not greasy. Uh, I really love this product. And this one has SPF value of 50, which is quite high. So it really gives a great protection uh, for your daily life. And my last item which I got new is this NARS Creamy Concealer. But for that I have separate video, so I will link it down below. Normally I don't buy one product before I use up what I have already. But uh, this one was some kind of exception because I really uh, wanted to compare the colors because I was searching for uh, something more yellowish than my existing concealer. So I just bought it before I use up my Clarence one. So you can have a look my the other video for the color comparison. So that was it for today. That was a quick update of my skincare and makeup collection. Hopefully it was interesting for you guys. And thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!